There I go. I f***ed it up. Threw the lead away really well on these tracks. And you can blow them like that. Apparently, I'm just blowing shit now. All right, what's going on, everybody? I forgot to turn the menu music down. God damn it. All right, audio's off. Music's off now. We're good. So, we're on MXGP21, one of my favorite motocross games. It's super underrated. And we got an AMA mod uh, by Pay2021 20, installed. Um, as you can see, we got Chase Sexton on the number four. Plessinger, Jet Lawrence, he's on like the number one 250 bike, but he's on the 450 in this game. Tomax, Cincerillo, Roxon, Webb on the Yamaha, Freddie Norm, Barsha, Moosegan, there's Sexton, Stewart, Hunter Lawrence. So pretty much the 2024 AMA roster is in this game. Pay21 did a good job on this mod. He does so many mods and... Uh, Without him, I wouldn't have a lot of cool videos to make like these, so uh, shout out to him. And then if you go to the MX2 class, we got Tom Bial, Hayden Deegan, Nate Thrasher, RJ Hampshire, Forkner, Joe Schmode on a Honda, Chance Hymas, pretty much everybody, Voland, Kitchen, everybody's in here, Bomer. But for the first race, I think we're just going to rock with um, Chase X on the KTM. Why not? Looks pretty cool. Number four. Haven't seen him with it this year. Now, I'm not sure if it's the mod I have installed, but the AI are cracked out of their mind in this game. I was playing it last night, and I was sweating my c***ing balls off trying to beat them. So it was pretty crazy. Um, we're going to go with Matterly Bazin because I know they're good here. All the settings are this. And uh, let's just see what happens. All right, here we are. I don't think I have any bike setups in this game on PC. I got a Lamo set up. It's probably not good for this track. Any extra gates for me? No, of course not. I gotta go on the bum, bum fuck outside. We'll make it happen though. The fucking, the board chick is hot. Hottest one in, out of any motocross game. Hottest one. Hands down. All right. Shouldn't need to give them a head start because they're pretty quick in this game. Uh, the Lawrence are there. They're all pushing wide. See, so yeah, the AI is actually kind of smart in this game. They're pretty quick. Don't want to jump on them. Don't want to... Oh shit. Get on the track, you bum. I love the inside berms and outside berms in this game. You can rail the tits out of them. Push Plessinger wide. Nice. So yeah, look at Jet Lawrence. He's already kind of hauling ass away. It seems like that's what the AI does in this game. The first place guy just kind of hauls ass. But I remember doing 30 minute motos on this track. And the AI would stick with you when the track gets rough. So, um, should be a tight race. So I like my shit tight, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, it's Hunter. I thought that was Jet Lawrence, Hunter Lawrence. Well, now I'm out front, but I'm probably gonna throw the lead away any second. That's usually what I do. Oh shit! Yeah, so I've been playing this game a little bit last day or so. This is the most underrated motocross game in my opinion. I love it so much. I wish they added more content to it, but it's a really good game, and especially with mods, it makes it really enjoyable. There I go, I fucked it up, threw the lead away. Doesn't matter what I do, how slow I and patient I ride, I always slow, throw the lead away whenever I'm leading. Especially on the first lap. Now we gotta catch up. Rocks and just don't know what the hell he's doing. Just kamikaze himself. So there's no ruts or anything to f forming up yet. This game does have track information that they add later on in the game. A lot of berms to choose from and they work really well on these tracks. And you can blow them like that. Apparently, I'm just blowing shit now. We're, we're, we're still in fourth, but the top three really spread out. So you gotta be... You gotta be hauling ass, because this is a big track. The race is already kind of like halfway over, I guess. Push Lawrence. No. That turns hard. Like me. Yes, you see, look, the AI is actually tracking good. Taking good lines. But see, the top two guys are hauling ass. They're leaving us in the dust. We gotta get going. First gear. The clutch boost is nice in this game. I love managing the clutch. And of course, I blew that again. I'm blowing everything this fucking race. Let's go. Come on. I don't like seeing the AI disappear in the distance. First person's also really good in this game. The flow, the angle, everything works really well. There's also a first person mod I could install, and it makes it look even better. This might be my favorite first person in any, like, motocross game, arcade one anyways. Let's get out of that shit. And I missed the quad. The off-camera corners are really awkward in this game. It seems like the guy doesn't want to turn completely. 
And the AI cheated them a little bit. This time we're gonna triple and not mess this up. So yeah, now we're kind of riding in no man's land, and I'm probably, I'm probably not even gonna catch those guys up front because they're actually really good in this game. I don't remember what a quick lap time is on this track. Once I cross the finish line, we'll see what lap time I get. It's probably not a good one. Look at me real in the tits out of that, man. All right, well, we got a comfortable lead to fourth, so maybe we can catch these cocksuckers. We'll see. Avoid all those breaking bumps. That's the... Never mind. Blew the berm again. See, I'm trying too hard to catch these guys, and I'm making mistakes. This time, we're going to get this. That was clean. But see, I'm not riding terribly, and the AI is still kind of pulling away slightly, or I'm barely catching them. So you can't make too many mistakes in this game. But I still think the mod I have installed might make the AI better because they're just... I remember they would haul ass in this game, but now they're hauling bigger ass. Like asses like Lizzo, fucking ginormous, disgusting booty. The whips and scrubs are super nice in this game. You can flick the bike around like crazy. Flick that bean, yeah. We're making progress, so we're catching them. I just can't make one more minute. I can't go down once more else the race is over for the win. The Sins are a little leading. There's rumors of him actually retiring this year, which is kind of crazy. He's had so many injuries. I, I kind of get it. Now he's like off the pace. I don't I don't blame him. Plessinger. He's probably going to crash like he always does. Choking a win. You always have really good battles in this game. Even in the little bikes class, the battles are always really good. So a 205, I think a sub two minute is a good lap time. Look, you see, he's hauling ass. Come on. When the track gets super rough, the AI just, it doesn't really affect them, I don't think. Wait, right, see, I'm, I'm having to sweat my goddamn two cock and balls off. Or sorry, my two balls and cock. And I'm barely catching them. It seems like when you get closer, they kind of pull away slightly again. This time we'll take the middle line. Oh, I'm just hauling big ass. This time we're going to try and get this big... It's not really a big line, but I think it's the faster line. If you do this... Eh, it's kind of... I think that is a little faster. It's hard to tell. So we still got two, one more lap after this, so we're kind of chilling. I thought this was the last lap for a second, so I was getting a little nervous. No! Don't spit... You absolute... See what I mean? You get close to them and the game just decides to hoe you out of a win like that. You can easily fall over in this game randomly, which which I do like. How it, there's that um, aspect of randomness with crashing, which kind of makes sense. But it, it gets very frustrating. We didn't lose too much time though, but it's not ideal. Fuck those off camber corners just... Absolutely destroy your booty, man. Nice plus and rate shit. What did I say? He ate shit in the last lap, like I said he would. No, come on. No, come on. Messed the lineup. See, look, Plessinger actually passed me. I made a slight mistake and he passed me. That's why the AI is good in this game. They, they pass you, they're a little bit smarter. Okay, yeah, we're not getting the win because. You make one little mistake and the first place is gone. So now we gotta fight for second. Oh, since really went down, yes. That's still not gonna be enough. But see what I mean though, I'm like really trying here. I'm not riding terribly. And I'm fighting with I'm fighting for the win here, which is nice, because usually you crash ten times, you're still winning by twenty seconds. That corner feels really bad. Those two corners feel really bad in, in this game. Off-camera corners, when it's really rough, they just... It doesn't work well with this game physics. But everywhere else, I like. The rider also can look kind of goofy at times when he has, like, a bobble. It does get a little bit annoying to look at. Alright, I was talking shit about Cincerello, but now he's going to win. I guess that's what I deserve. 
But so yeah, this game, one of my favorite games, super underrated, and it's really fun to race the AI in this game. That's Matterly Bays and MXGP21. If you guys want to see another video on this game, let me know. And uh, other than that, hope you enjoyed, and as always, take care.